Crises precipitate change. I first heard those lines in a track by Deltron3030 when I was much younger. And it really stuck with me. And as the years have gone on, the more I've realized how extremely true that is. Crises precipitate change. Crises bring about change. I would go as far as to say that often really big changes, the really big, significant, lasting ones, the, the meaningful ones, sometimes they, know they don't ever occur without a crisis. Sometimes people aren't willing to change or aren't going to change until they get to that point where if they don't, it's going to be bad. Now that could mean a whole lot of things. But really what we're looking at here is just when an individual has had enough. <laughs> when they've had their draw the line in the sand moment. If you know what that means or what I mean by that. Where we get to this point and we say, I'm not going to have any more of this. I'm done. I'm going to draw a line in the sand and nothing more is going to come across this line. We're finished. We're done. When we hit that line, when we hit that point, when we go, okay, I've had enough of this. But on this deep level of like, and if I don't do something about it, it's going to be a disaster. That's what it often takes to make the commitments, make the, the changes that are going to stick, that are going to last. Maybe we've been wanting to quit drinking alcohol for many, many years, but now that our liver is actually getting really damaged and we've actually ended up in hospital, oh no, now we really have to. <laughs> and sometimes it takes those extreme, those life-threatening emergencies to shake things up enough to pull us out of the comfort zone that we're in, the, the part of us that's content where we are, even if it might not be serving us. That's why sometimes crises are what's needed in order to bring about change.